hobby people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited about this video i'm actually doing a collab with some fellow nail sisters so i'm collaborating with three fellow youtubers here's their information here on the screen the first nail sister i'd like to introduce is keeping up with brit her name is Brittany, and she is a nail artist that has a business selling press-on nails so she's really excited to start her journey and this is actually her first collab video the second nail sister is Timberlands and she goes by Ty. She's a nail tech and trainer. Her YouTube is mostly lifestyle, mom vlogs, but she also has nail videos, makeup, fashion, etc. It pretty much encompasses everything that she does. And last but definitely not least is the third nail sister and this is a really close and dear friend of mine. This is Issa Rap. She's actually the first person um, who I became YouTube friends with and um, she also is the first person I ever did a collab with. So I'm excited to be collabing with her again. Um, her channel again is It's A Rap. She mainly makes nail content with hair, makeup, fashion, sprinkled in, and she helped people achieve their finished look, okay? So we're gonna hop right on into this tutorial. So It's A Rap actually um, was kind enough to send all three of us um, some custom glitters that she made and this is her information here on the screen So as you can see her name is Paris and she made a beautiful custom glitter um, So the theme of this collab was actually self-love and so um, That's going to be a theme throughout this entire video and I'll be excited to Kind of go over how I show self-love to myself in this video. So this glitter is stunning, isn't it? Really quick, I'm going to go over everything you need. Um, I have a peel-off base coat here that's optional. I have my gel in, extend gel and top coat. My Beatles gel polish, two colors in red and white. Um, I also have the nail foil glue and nail glue. I was trying something different with the glitters. Um, you'll also need different tools of your choice for nail art. I have my full cover coffin tips. And then, um, y'all know me, I gotta bling it out, so I have some bling here. Um, and then I wanted to put these pearls to use, so I've had them forever, so I'm excited to give those some love. So as you can see here over my natural nails, I do have um, the Young Nails Manicure Fiber Gel on it. Um, you guys, I got a greenie. Um, it was so sad, but um, I went and got my nails done at a salon, and they just have a lot of damage to them. Here you can see I have a cracked nail bed as well. Um, and so, yeah, and then even my index finger here got a cut on it. So my hands are in bad shape. So I'm just trying to protect my nails and um, nurse them back to health. But first I'm gonna go in with my NYC Peel Off Base Coat. This is actually my first time trying this over um, any type of enhancement on my nail. So I was hoping that it would pop off easily. And since recording this video, um, it actually did pop off quite well. So I was pretty excited about that. So you wanna go in with a thin layer of your peel off base coat. And this is only if you want your nails to pop off. Um, I'm trying to keep my nails um, without anything on them. Like I said, I wanna nurse them back to health. So once you let that dry, um, you'll go ahead and go in with the extend gel to apply your full cover tips. So as requested during my last live, I do plan to make a dedicated video showing you all how to apply um, the full cover tips to the natural nail. But since my nails are pretty damaged, um, I'm going to save that video for a little bit later because I want to show how you all can do it um, and get it to last up to three weeks. I have had my full cover tips last that long before, so I can't really show it too well in this video because I have an enhancement on my nail. Again, trying to nurse it back to health. But as you can see, I'm applying my full cover tips. You'll want to just apply some of the extend gel into the full cover tip and then go in at the cuticle, press down, make sure you don't have any air bubbles and get it into the lamp. I normally cure it for about 10, 15 seconds. Actually here, um, this, this right here is a good clip because it shows um, what it looks like when you don't apply enough gel. So I actually ended up scraping it off and applying more. Um, and then I was able to get um, a nice full seal with no air bubbles. So, you know, if at first you don't succeed, try again, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna let you all go ahead and watch me apply my full cover tips and I'll be back. So here I wanted to slow down me doing my thumbnail. Um, so with the thumb, the apex on the tip is pretty steep. So I actually have to apply quite a generous amount of gel in order to get it to fill all the way up without any air bubbles. So I just wanted to show you all that in real time. And then also, I'm sure you all can tell, um, the upload has happened here on a Saturday instead of a Thursday. So 
In case you all didn't know, I did post on my community tab. Uh, my daughter and I unfortunately came down with the flu, and so I wasn't feeling well earlier this week, and that might be the reason why my um, voice sounds a little bit different, but I definitely still wanted to get this video cranked out for you all. Um, so yeah, we're definitely feeling better. And thank you all so much for your get well wishes and um, just for showing general concern. I truly appreciate that. My happy family is simply the best. Um, so as you can see, I already file shaped and buffed my full cover tips off camera. Now I'm going in with those two colors from Beatles, that beautiful stunning red and also that beautiful nice white. I'm going to be applying the red to my index pinky and thumb and then the two, um, the middle finger and the ring finger I'm going to apply the white to. And so while we're here, um, again, like I said, the theme of this video is self-love. So what are some things that you all do for self-love? Um, I know for me, doing my nails is definitely a form of self-love and my form of therapy. It's actually the reason why I started doing nails on my channel. Um, after I had my daughter, my life kind of felt like it was spiraling out of control. And doing my nails definitely helped keep me sane. And this is how the idea was born for Nail Therapy Thursdays. And so this is why I love doing my nails and I'm so happy that I get to share my therapy sessions with you all. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you all watch me apply the um, nail polish to the rest of my nails and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've really been enjoying doing freehand nail art. So I've been dying to do the split heart on two different nails and I thought for this self-love collab, it would be the perfect opportunity to do that. When I think about love, I think about red, I think about pinks, I think about whites and things like that. And so I'm gonna be drawing a heart on um, split between my middle finger and my ring finger. And here I just took a um, a nail art brush and I'm going to be drawing a heart here now I it took me a few attempts to get this right okay oh actually so you guys right here I almost made a mistake so I forgot to go in with my top coat before I tried my nail art so make sure you all seal in your gel polish with your top coat before you do any type of nail art so that's what you're going to see me doing here I'm applying my top coat I'm so happy I caught myself because it actually took me a few attempts to get this heart right and it would have been devastating had I not had that top coat on. So now that my top coat is applied, I can go in and try to get this heart drawn. Um, so as you can see here, I have my attempt number one. Um, and this is me trying to draw that heart. Like I said, it took me a few times, but um, you'll see eventually I get it right. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to kind of talk about more things that I do for self-love. So another thing that I like to do for self-love is travel. Those who know me know that I absolutely love to travel. I've been to a ton of different countries. I've been to a lot of different states and I don't know, traveling is just my passion. I absolutely love learning about new cultures, new ways of life, new ways of living, thinking, love trying different foods etc so traveling it's it's in my heart for sure and so um recently i actually traveled out of the country i was gone for almost three weeks and i was actually in nigeria for a family vacation um so my hubby is actually from there and the trip was absolutely amazing um, this was actually my first time meeting his family. So my in-laws and everybody was just so sweet and so welcoming. Um, we had a lot of fun, you guys. We went to the beach, we went to the mall, we went to the park, we went to the countryside. Even had a little glimpse of nightlife there. So yeah, I do have a vlog coming soon about my Nigeria trip. And um, I actually got my nails done while I was there, which actually led to my week in damaged nails that you all saw in the beginning. <laughs> So now I'm trying to repair them. I'll also, like I said, have a video. Um, I actually recorded me getting my nails done at the salon. So I will have a, a vlog coming soon of me actually getting my nails done there. And you all will see what really happened and what led to all that damage. But as you all can see, the heart here is coming along quite nicely. Um, after I liked how the first half of the heart looked, I did cure it under the light for 10 seconds. And now I'm going in with the second half of the heart and once I get it done to my liking, I'm going to flash cure it again for 10 seconds. I'll let you all finish seeing me draw the heart and I'll be back shortly.
So as you all can see, I am prepping this gorgeous glitter um, for application. So you guys, I'm not good at working with loose glitter, right? I'm gonna just start with that disclaimer. I was trying something different here. As you can see, I have some nail foil glue. And I was trying to apply that to the inside of the heart in order to get the loose glitters to stick. You all will see here soon that that did not go well at all, um, but I did give it a try, okay? Um, and so yeah, I, I was just trying something new. I felt like um, since nail foil glue gives you a sticky surface, then it should give a sticky enough surface to um, have the glitters adhere to it. But as you all will see here, uh, um, I definitely cured it for too long and the glitters did not stick to it. I think had I tried to cure it for maybe like 15 seconds or 30 seconds, it would have worked a little bit better. But you all will see my struggle bus here as I try to get these glitters to stick to the inside of the heart. So as you all watch me struggle with these glitters, I just want to take the time to say thank you to all of my subscribers, both the new subscribers and my old subscribers. I really appreciate you all rocking with me and for the continued love and support. I absolutely love this community that we've built here. It's so supportive. It's so loving. It's so encouraging, so motivating. So thank y'all for being a part of this happy family. I just really appreciate y'all so much. So thank you all for helping motivate me to continue to do what I do here on YouTube. So without you all, there would be no me. So again, thank you all. So yeah, as you all see here, this is where I realized that this nail foil glue did not work and was not a good idea. So went back to the drawing board and decided to just apply the glitters into the gel top coat and this worked out beautifully. So moving forward, anytime I wanna use some loose glitters, this is gonna be the way that I do it. Um, so I just went ahead and took some of those loose glitters and applied them into the gel top coat. And this allowed me to be able to maneuver the glitters and apply them inside the heart um, with ease. And so I'll let you all watch me do that and I'll be back shortly. So I realized that putting the glitters inside that gel just made my life so much easier. Um, I wish I had did that from the beginning, but as you all can see, it's very easy to maneuver the loose glitters when it's inside of gel. So I was happy that I used gel top coat as well because then a no wipe gel top coat actually because it helped to not have to wipe off any sticky layers. So you all can see here I actually went ahead and did the first finger off camera just because I wanted to kind of perfect my application technique. And then here you all will see me um, applying the glitter in real time. So this is the technique that I used in order to get the glitters to lay nice and flat. So as you all watch me apply these glitters, I wanted to talk about the final thing that I do for self-love. Um, I like to center my mind, body, and soul by doing yoga and meditation. Yes, I have been a yogi for well over eight years now, and I just love um, practicing meditation, practicing yoga as a way to keep my mental space clear, keep it free of any type of stress, distractions, negativity, etc. So I actually got into meditation and yoga when I lived in Europe. Um, in case you all didn't know, I actually am a returned Peace Corps volunteer. And while I was there, um, it was challenging mentally for me. And so one of the ways that I found to keep my mental peace there was to practice yoga and meditation. And actually, if you all go back to some of my older YouTube videos, I do have maybe like one or two of my yoga sessions on there. Maybe I'll try to leave them linked down in the description in case anybody's interested in seeing that. But yeah, y'all, yoga, meditation, it is so great for keeping your mental space at peace. As you all can see, I'm using the spatula end of my um, gel brush to flatten out those glitters. I think using the spatula was really helpful to making sure I get the glitters to lay really nice and flat so that it wasn't lumpy or anything like that. So once you get the glitters placed how you like them, you will go ahead and cure 
for 60 seconds and y'all ain't she looking cute though like i am loving how this is turning out so far so next i'm going to go in with my all-time favorite rhinestone adhesive okay this is the beatles nail glue y'all have seen on my channel this is my ride or die this is my go-to my holy grail um so i'm going to take a little bit of that a little bit of that nail glue on a liner brush and um, just draw around that heart so that i can adhere my rhinestones with it um, so again, I'm just going to take my time and make sure that I have enough gel on that brush and enough gel around that heart so that I can adhere my rhinestones with no issues. So these are the rhinestones I decided to use. Um, I believe I actually got these in a giveaway box from Sandra Sparkly Sets. And then I'm also um, shaking them in that green thing to get them to lay front side up which I really love that little tool um, something I never knew I needed but yeah I'm going to take my wax pencil here and just align the crystals all along the heart um, just to really make those glitters pop like yeah once I feel like once I added the rhinestones it really just gave them new life so you'll see me um, apply them here Once you get the rhinestones where you want them, you will go ahead and flash cure them for 60 seconds. And here you all will see how cute this is looking. I mean, she is giving, okay? Giving all life, okay? So next I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how I do the index and pinky finger. I did already do my thumbnail off camera, but this is what this is the look that we're going for. So yeah, again, index and pinky, I'm gonna replicate that look. So I'm gonna put these pearls to use. I've been wanting to use these forever, and I'm happy that I'm finally able to get some use out of them. I wasn't really sure what set or how I wanted to implement them um, into a look, but yes, I felt like this was the perfect way to do it. So I'm gonna take some rhinestones here. I'm gonna place a bigger rhinestone here in the middle at the cuticle area and then I'm going to place two smaller rhinestones on the outside of that and then I'm going to place two even smaller rhinestones on either opposite end of the same uh, either opposite end and so after I do that I do go in with those little um, pearls and um, go ahead and put them in between each rhinestone at the top and then also at the bottom so I think I'll zoom in here shortly so that you all can get a better look at um, how I kind of placed everything so that um, it was where I wanted it to be and get it looking nice and right. So with this, you definitely want to make sure you take your time and get everything placed where you want it to be. Patience is definitely a virtue when it comes to this because that took me a little minute to get lined up properly, but look at the end result, you guys. So you all see now I am applying my top coat to all of the nails and while I'm doing that I also wanted to just let you all know that I do still plan to do my 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I have not forgotten about that. I've just been out of town and so I'm just getting back, getting back into the swing of things and I'm also just trying to get some nice items together to make it a really cool giveaway for you guys. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for that giveaway video is going to be coming soon i don't know exactly when because like i said i'm still trying to get some items but um it definitely will be coming soon um and then also to here you see me applying the top coat um inside where the glitter is inside the heart and then also all around the heart and i'm going to use my liner brush just to kind of get really close up to those rhinestones um so when you are applying gel, you don't want to get them on top of the rhinestone because that can cause um, the rhinestones to not shine so bright. Yes, 
Ain't she cute though? I am absolutely loving how this set turned out. I'm talking, we got the glitters in the middle of the heart. We got the rhinestones blinging it out. We have that cuticle area looking nice and right. I just really love how this set turned out. She is giving all type of life, okay? Um, I had a lot of fun doing the self, self love collab um with these lovely ladies so definitely make sure you all go and check out paris it's a wrap keeping up with brit Brittany, and tamberlin's tie i am going to leave all of their youtube um channels as well as their instagram pages linked down in the description um and definitely go and check out their videos as well as you can see i'm just applying some cuticle oil to all of my fingers to keep them nice and hydrated and you guys give give her a moment though give her a moment yes what do you guys think um i definitely hope that you all enjoyed this video i had so much fun making it and i had an even more fun time doing this collab with everybody so yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails so if you all like what you saw here Definitely stick around, join the happy family. I would love to have you all. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.